The Oman Animal and Plant Genetic Resources Center was established in 2012 following a royal order issued by His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said to evaluate, review and protect Oman's globally significant genetic resources. Today, OAPGRC works with a variety of national and international stakeholders to advance the sustainable use of animal and plant genetic resources through education, research and innovation. This important work is intended to serve and benefit not only the people of Oman, but the wider international community and the generations yet to come. Oman, due to its diverse climatic conditions, size and geographic location, is a treasure trove for genetic resources. Uh, this unique genetic pool of genetic resources spans the entire animal and plant world and thus we have a moral and scientific obligation to protect and conserve these resources for future generations. So these resources will be our legacy for the future. Genetic resources are the building blocks of life and by developing our understanding of them, we can protect endangered species and the communities that depend on them. It's estimated that 30 crops provide 95% of human food energy needs and just four, rice, wheat, maize and potatoes, provide more than 60%. Given the significance of a relatively small number of crops for global food security, it's crucial that we conserve the diversity within these major crops. We don't as yet know everything about future demands for crop varieties, but we do know they'll have to be part of a more environmentally friendly cultivation system, be of better quality and have improved resistances, especially when it comes to meeting the challenge of climate change we currently face. So part of what I'm doing here is to try and develop um, a conservation strategy for agrobiodiversity in Oman. The idea is to actually come up, for instance, with a checklist of medicinal plants. So it makes it very difficult to actually conserve something if you don't know what is out there. So if we have this list, then we know the list of target species, then it's much easier to target action for their conservation. Once we have clear indication of what is in Oman, the next step is to start on research on either collecting these resources and conserving them, either ex situ, which means out of their natural habitat, or in situ in their natural habitat, and also then uh, trying to improve them or to extract any benefits that we can from these resources. In doing that, we need to collaborate with the other organizations, stakeholders from the ministries, private sector, universities, or academia, as well as international organizations and regional organizations. We have arid regions where we don't have much uh, water, uh, desiccation, high temperatures, uh, as well as uh, high salinity. But at the same time, the organisms are surviving in these uh, regions and they probably have a unique genes that help them to survive in these conditions. As society faces new challenges, microbes can help from treating water and solid waste to producing renewable biofuels. Oman is a desert, there are no resources, but we have excellent marine resources. Okay. Uh, when you look at that there and you say, oh, it's just a desert, but you don't know what the microbes that are there that can do what, as we are doing this, we can produce bioenergy, we can produce biofertilizers, uh, we can produce other very important materials uh, avoiding the damage of our environment. For example, we found some microbes that they can bioremediate oil pollution, especially have heavy oil, in a very short time. Growing international trade, greater mobility and climate change make Oman increasingly vulnerable to new pests and diseases, many of which could seriously harm our economy and environment. With a range of partners, OAPGRC supports a national approach to biosecurity and is working hard to protect Oman's unique natural landscape, native flora, fauna and marine life from the negative effects associated with invasive species, pests and diseases. The biggest threat to the genetic biodiversity uh, in Oman, in my opinion, is pollution. Our oceans support an estimated 10 million species, only 3% of which have been identified. 
But our rich marine life is being depleted, disappearing before we have even had the chance to learn about it. If our oceans are to cope with what the future has in store, we need to act now. We need to halt the loss of biodiversity and take care of the fabric of life in our seas. Genetics may help us to identify fish stocks, to identify people who are smuggling fish from one region to another or from one country to another. Uh, genetics also allows us to develop new strains of animal organisms that are beneficial to us. As the world's population expands, greater demands are being placed on our environment and its resources, the environment and resources we share with animals. We share their landscape and ecosystems. We breathe the same air and drink the same water. We eat the same food. We need to ensure their habitats aren't compromised, that they have the food and water they need, not just to survive, but to thrive. In the coming 10 years, I see the centre leading in research and innovation through collaborations with academic institutions, business organisations and international organisations and also enabling us to attract investors to utilise the Omani genetic resources for the benefit of humankind.